All right, your name is? It's uh, James Cavolo, C-A-V-O-L-O, F-D-N-Y. And, yeah, you're with the Fire Department of New York City, New York, yes. okay, which, of course, everyone does remember, yes. all the, the firemen who yes. we lost to 9-11. It's your first time here at Shanksville. What it are your is. thoughts? Uh, usually I'm in New York City on 9-11. Uh, I felt very compelled to come here this year. Truthfully, I didn't realize you, we had access to this site here. I was shocked to see and learn it's a national monument as well. Um, I, I'm in awe of what I see here. I didn't realize there were remains here. I didn't either. I yeah. I, 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 once again, I'm shocked. And I can't express how happy I I feel in being able to come here today. I finally made it here. More important than that And the fact that it's going to become a national monument as well, and that's well deserved. Yeah. How did today's words by the speakers during the ceremony touch you? You know, I've heard those words countless times. Truthfully, it's being in the presence of these family members mm. and, and meeting several of them. That's what really made my day. Uh, as far as professional speakers, I heard them. I think mm. they spoke very well, yeah. very heartfelt, I can tell. Yes. But the family members, that, that, that did it for me. Yeah. I met several of them. Yeah. You're obviously kind of choked up, yeah. I, and I, I think everyone who comes yeah. here probably feels a deep emotional connection yeah. with this spot. It does. My first time, I, well, it's 9-11 today, so, yes. you know, my, my heart and thought is in uh, New York City, where I'll be going later, actually. I'll go down to the site. Right. But like I said, I felt compelled to come here today. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for having me. Talk Radio. All right.